As marijuana becomes legalized throughout North America, many are trying edibles for the first time as a healthier option. But with edible marijuana providing such a different experience than smoking, how does it work and is eating pot actually better for you? When you heat cannabis, you effectively change the chemical makeup of compounds within it called cannabinoids. Smoking heats it to around 800 degrees Celsius and converts THCA to delta-9 THC, which binds to receptors in your brain, making them continually fire and causing your imagination, thought thoughts and perceptions to magnify. This is why every thought can feel like a significant one. And because it travels straight from your lungs into the bloodstream and to your brain, the drug works within minutes and lasts about two to three hours. But when making edibles, the weed is heated to around 150 degrees Celsius, burning less of the actual plant and minimizing carcinogens. THC is lipophilic, not water soluble, so the activated THC must be dissolved into something fatty like oil or butter. And once this substance is consumed, Consumed, the onset of the high is delayed as the drug is absorbed more slowly through your gut. But this high typically lasts four to eight hours, and most report feeling more high than compared to smoking marijuana. This is because when you eat edible weed, the THC is first metabolized by the liver before entering the bloodstream, and here delta-9 THC also becomes 11-OH THC, which passes the brain barrier more rapidly and is a more potent chemical. So using the same amount of marijuana, you actually get more high with edibles, because it ends up creating both delta-9 THC and 11-OH THC, which is a stronger compound. And because there are more psychotropic types of cannabinoids acting on your neurons, you'll be high for longer. Of course, you also get to skip out on the toxic chemicals that smoking provides like carbon monoxide, bronchial irritants, and tumor initiators. Smoking anything means you're inhaling cancer-causing molecules, so if you can get high without smoking, it will be healthier for your lungs and body. The downside? It's much harder to control the high you'll get, because because it can take up to one to two hours to feel the full effects and the dosage can vary significantly, modulating the effects or titrating as it's called is much more difficult and as a result you can end up a lot higher than you intended to. But unlike those who consume too much alcohol, opioids or other drugs, you won't be suffering any serious long-term harm, toxicity or lethal overdose if you do consume more than you intended. If you've ever wondered why marijuana gives you the munchies, check out our ASAP thought video that breaks down the science behind that by clicking the screen or using the link in the description and subscribe for more weekly science videos every Thursday.